Hey everyone, welcome back to KBS Technocrop Day 8 Python Tutorial. Today we are going to explore object oriented programming concept called polymorphism in Python. We will look on more detail how to achieve function overloading and function overriding in Python. Before we dive into today's video, I just wanted to take a moment to invite you to join my channel KBS Technocraft. If you like what you see, please consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you never miss a video. By subscribing, you will be the first to know when I upload a new content and you will be helping us to grow our channel, reach out even more people. So if you have not already hit the subscribe button and become part of the KBS Technocraft family today. So we will try to start with the function overloading. Function overloading is basically one of the concepts to achieve polymorphism. So polymorphism is a concept in object-oriented programming that allow objects of different classes to be used interchangeably. In Python, polymorphism is achieved through method overloading and method overriding. In Python, there is no direct way to achieve method overloading. Before we move on method overloading, just to understand what is the method overloading concept is. Basically, method overloading concept is when you are having a class or a program where you are having same method name with the different parameters, arguments. In that case, this scenario is called as a concept is called as a function overloading. So let's say consider, we will see what is not supported in Python and then we'll try to see that how we can achieve it. Let's say consider I'm defining a function called add and in the first declaration I'm defining two parameters and then I'm returning x plus y. So this is very simple function which I declare where I'm having a function with add where we are having two parameters. Now, let's say I want to define a function with three parameters where I'm passing x, y, z and I, I need to add it. Okay, now if I print it, the output of this add one, two and then I will also try to print add one, two, and three. So when we run it, we will see the error because direct function overloading is not supported. So it's not supported here and you will be able to get this kind of error. Okay, so now let's say consider we will comment this for time being. Okay, so we will comment this function where we are having only two argument. We have just commented it. Now we are having a function where we are having the three argument. Now how we can achieve this function overloading concept where we can pass either one parameter or either two parameter or three parameter and our functions should work fine. In this scenario, for example, if I pass only x value, then also it give me some if I pass y, x and y both value, then it's give me the x plus y value. And if I pass z, then it's give me x plus y plus z value. So in that case, there is other concept is called optional parameter or default parameter, which we can use it. So let's consider this function is working and then we'll move on that, how we can implement this. So here we are able to add it one, two, three. Now, if I want to define it as the optional parameter then I can define z as optional parameter here and if we run it we will see that the the behavior of the of the function is remain same now now if I enable this line of code and we will be able to see here that the function add is going to work with the two parameter as well so if you see here the result is Okay, uh, let's define the default value as a zero. So if I run this code, I'm able to see the values three and six. 
here if I don't pass the parameter it will take the default parameter or optional parameter whatever I have assigned to this Z value it will take that and it will try to add this so this is how we can achieve function overloading into the Python now we will try to see how we can implement function overriding function overriding what is basically function overriding function overriding a concept when you have a two or more classes and class a inherits class b and there is a function in the base class which you want to override the definition of that function so in that way what we can do we can create a same method into the base class and try to redefine that same method into the derived class what it will do it will override the function definition whatever being defined into the base class okay let me go through example and we will try to see that how we can achieve that so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a class for animal and that class will have a function is called make sum and then we will see how we can override that particular method for different different derived classes okay so i will try to place the code here and we will see one by one and then we will try to execute and understand okay so i hope it's visible to you okay so animal animal is the class this is a base class or parent class where we are defining a function called make sum now the class dog is inheriting the animal class for for, for here dog is the child class and animal is the parent class again cat is also implementing or inheriting the animal class for cat also the animal is parent class and cat is child class here so what we are doing for the definition of this make sound method what we have defined is animal make sound okay now but when we are declaring a dog class then in the dog class what we are trying to override this print method is here basically override that function by defining that this function using the diff keyword and we are changing the statement of this function that means we are trying to say the dog box that means whenever you override this function and you try to create instance of this dog class it will always and call this it will always give you this value okay same way for cat cat is child class and animal is parent class and here we are trying to redefine the function called make sound and here we are defining our own definition so when we run this code we will see the result will come the first one dog the dog box and second one the cat news let me run this code okay so it's executed and i will have to clean this window so that we can see all the result here so if i run it here we can see cat dog box and cat now if you don't define that let's say consider if i use a keyword here called pass okay. that means i'm not doing anything here now the dog for dog what we are going to get that the animal make a sound so if i run this code and clean this console if you see here animal make a sound and cat mouse so here what i'm doing i am not overriding the function called make sound and i'm just passing a passes keyword when you do not want to define this particular class let's say consider whatever this dog class whatever property attributes and functions are available into the base class 
it will be it will be available only into that dog class as of now so since i have used pass that means the overriding concept is not there for this that's why for dog also we are able to see the animal make a sound yeah so that's how we can use the concept of overriding and overloading into the python i hope uh, you enjoyed my video if you enjoyed my video please do like subscribe my channel Thank you so much for watching.